Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As we are discussing an autopsy, and this is the fifth lecture of this series. And in this lecture, I will be discussing the techniques of autopsy. And the learning objective and the contents of my talks will be that I will be talking about what are various techniques used for dissecting the body of autopsy. What are advantages and disadvantages of various techniques and which is the best technique which is used in various types of autopsies. So starting with the topic, the techniques of autopsy and they are basing the autopsy dissection methods. Number one is the Virkos technique and second is the Rokitensky's technique and the third is the Lutelli's technique and fourth is the Gons technique. So these four techniques are used in various situations. Regarding the Virkos technique, this method is an organ by organ removal. And in this technique, the organs are removed one by one. It means that they are dissected and removed. And this approach is good for demonstrating pathological changes in individual organs. And especially in high-risk autopsies or where the permission is limited to one organ. This organ can be removed and examined, which is under question. And first the cranial cavity is exposed and then from back the spinal cord is opened so this is the scheme of dissection and followed by the thoracic, cervical and the abdominal organs. And this is the most commonly used method in, uh, this is the most common method and the advantages of this method is that each organ can be studied in detail and the disadvantage is that the technique which is uh, using this technique, by using this technique, the anatomical pathological relationship is not preserved and thus, thus it cannot be studied. So Virko is basically credited with several very important discoveries and he is most widely known scientific contribution is cell theory in which was built on the work of Theodore Shawn. And he was one of the first to accept the work of Robert Remark, who showed the origin of cells was the division of pre-existing cells. Virku used the theory that all the cells arise from pre-existing cells to lay the groundwork for the cellular pathology. Or, the study of diseases at the cellular level. His work made it more clear that the diseases occur at the cellular level. And this work led to the scientist being able to diagnose diseases more accurately. Now, Rokitensky's technique. Born Carol von Rokitensky was an Austrian pathologist he was born in 1804 in Austria and died in, eight, died in 1878 in Vienna. He was a Bohemian physician and pathologist. The Rokitensky's method involves in situ study of the organs. So this is the in situ examination and is also done in children. The advantages of Rokitensky's technique is that in this technique, it is commonly preferred when the pathologists want to limit the spread of infection like HIV or hepatitis B. And the disadvantage of this technique is that the organ cannot be studied in detail. Now, Lutelli's technique. Lutelli's method is en masse removal of all the viscera. Then can be studied in detail. 
In this method, the cervical, thoracic, abdominal, and pelvic organs are removed and masked. But the subsequently, they are dissected as an organ block. They are removed and masked, then they are dissected in organ blocks. The advantage is that, is that in this technique is the best when as a routine and preservation of connection between the organ and organ system is to be required. The organ block then can be studied in detail. The Gons technique. The Gons method is also an end block technique where the cervical and the thoracic organs, the abdominal organs or the upper abdominal organs and urinogenital system the lower abdominal organs all are removed as separate blocks. So each system is removed as a separate block. Similarly, the brain and the neck are dissected as a separate block. Pathologists are more comfortable with this technique. All the organs should be weighed and brief description of the organ should be recorded. So, which is the best method of forensic autopsy dissection? That is Virkos, Lutelis, Rokitenskis, or Bones. In medical autopsies, on hospital cases, the anatomical orientation is observed and disease process is studied. So, Lutelis method in these cases is preferred. In medical legal autopsies, where uh, we are uh, more comfortable with the Virkos and the Gons technique. So in medical legal autopsies, the Virkos and the Gons techniques are most commonly used. Because the anatomical relationship and it is time-saving process. So summary of today's talk is that we uh, discuss various techniques of autopsies, the advantages and advantages and we have come to know that which is the best technique for autopsy in various situations. Thank you very much. Take care. We'll continue the our autopsy lectures in the next series, inshallah. Allah Hafiz. Please subscribe to my channel. And this is my channel name, Dr. Javed.